the Red Panda 2003 here, and in today's video I will be teaching you how to hook up any of your retro slash newer-ish consoles to OBS and then broadcast slash record that gameplay. So first, obviously you're going to need a computer, and then second you're going to need game console. Mine is this, mine is this PlayStation Slim. It uh, outputs AV, or at least the cable I have does. And uh, step three, you're gonna need one of these things. Mine right here is called Easy the Easy Cap, but uh, yours might be called something else. Easy Cap capture cards usually cost from around ten to fifteen dollars, depending on which brand you get. I got the Easy Cap model, which came with a software to record your footage with, but you can just use OBS. There's also Redgo, which is just the same thing, and then there's there's a lot of different brands, but they usually cost under fifteen dollars. But the basic idea of it is it has USB on the end, and at the beginning, or the start of the dongle, it'll have the AV inputs, the right and left audios, and then the video, and it also have S video for all you S video fanatics out there. So basically, you get this cable, or dongle thing, whatever, so you need the cable. You need your console also, and you need, to, you need the AV hookups for your console. So you're going to want to, obviously, hook up your console, because, I mean, if you're going to play your console, you want to see what you're doing. So, I have hooked in, I got my three component cables. Uh... Yellow goes to yellow, red goes to red, and white goes to white. So now that we're all hooked up, it should, in theory, have the console, the cable coming out of it, the cables hooked up to your easy cap, and then your easy cap hooked up to your computer. Alright, on to the OBS portion. Alright, so I'm over here in OBS now. Um, I have my Easy Cap plugged in with my PlayStation hooked up to my Easy Cap. And what you're going to want to do is, once you have your scene selected that you want to add the capture to, you're going to want to click Add, then Video Capture Device. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine Vid, just to make things good. Alright, so now I have my uh, Properties for Vid window open. Um, device, you're going to want to change that from your webcam or whatever you, your main video capture thing is to whatever your capture device is called. Mine is called AV to USB, even though it says Easy Cap on it. Maybe that's just the company or whatever. Click on whatever it's called. And it should be black. Because uh, it should just be that because... There's, it's not turned on. Um, keep all these settings the same. It should be good. And then click OK. And now we're here. And you're going to want to uh, change the size. I changed my size so you could actually see what I was doing. So now we have our screen capture for our game. My system is the PlayStation. But wait, it doesn't record audio. It has an audio bar, but it doesn't record audio. So, I'm going to move that out of the way so I can tell you how to do that. Click on Add, Audio Input. I'm just going to name mine Vid Audio. And then I'm going to change it to AV to USB. Click OK. Resize your video capture device to whatever size you want it to be. I'm just going to make mine take up the whole screen put it right in the middle, and hide my display capture. So after I've done that, it should, in theory, have the video and the audio. So let's test it out. And there it is. My PlayStation, hooked up to my computer recording. Now this PlayStation doesn't work, it doesn't read games, but uh, it's the only console I had in my bedroom right now with AV, 
besides my Wii, but I wasn't digging that out of my thing. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I guess, uh, comment on the video. Tell me if you liked it. Like the video if you liked it, and yeah, see you guys next time.